dear students we are starting the discussion on fourth module uh, material handling and facility span fourth module in module basically uh, this is a syllabus of fourth module uh, material handling systems is the we had to discuss about material handling principles then what are the different material handling equipments and then also we have to discuss what is the relation between a material handling and plan layout this is the four terms you have to be studying for the module actually in industrial engineering module 2 we already have discussed in detail about material handling equipments material handling principles etc you already studied that so it will be very easy for you to study the uh, fourth module in material handling it's almost the same thing is the uh, industrial engineering second module and uh, this fourth module is almost similar so very small module we can discuss with two video lectures this this will be our first video lecture what is a material handling system we we discussed about material handling system from starting we know that the any system any equipment any uh, object or instrument we are used to handle any material uh, so for for which all purpose we will handle material either for storing or for movement or for measuring or for carrying whatever for any uh, Uh, equipment we are used to handle the material for any purpose uh, storing transportation inspection whatever the purpose that equipment usually called material handling equipment that system is usually called material handling system so uh, in a, in a definition we can say that material handling is a basic operation connected with the movement of either it may be individual product or a group of product or by you, we are moving the product either using a gravity or power actuated equipment from the from one one place to another for what purpose either for fabrication or or processing or any service requirement so it it is defined as the function deals with preparing placing positioning of material to facilitate the movement of storage so either it from either we are dealing with the material either for moving one place to another or we will deal with material for storing okay so that that is the basic intro about material handling systems so why the material handling system is too much important why the system is too much important as we know that material handling system do not add add any value uh, by using actually it's one of the system is a supporting system but uh, but it can if you are if we have a proper metal handling system we can reduce the total cost of course not increase the value but having a having a good metal handling system we can reduce the cost okay so poor metal handling system may result in leading the idle time its total time can be improved so metal handling system deals with movement handling storage of material so uh, it's 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 a long process deal with many man involved and many materials involved and also the storage space involved so basically through scientific process only we can reduce the total cost of production uh, with, with with the scientific process of material handling system only we can reduce the total cost of production as well as we can increase the total production rate so what are the objectives of material handling uh, as, as we already discussed in our early modules in material handling and facilities planning and also in industrial engineering we already covered the what are the objectives of material handling the first thing minimization of material handling cost uh, our any industry the total uh, final output will be the increase of productivity so we need to reduce the total cost minimize delay uh, we, we need to increase the total production accuracy increase of production capacity safety in material handling is another objective we need a safe environment for workers as well as the total system safe environment maximum utilization of resources prevention of any damage to material as well as the system and uh, as planned lower inventory uh, by proper monitoring material handling equipment we can have reduced the total inventory so these are the major objectives of material handling so we covered what is material handling what are the objectives of material handling what are the principles of material handling we already studied all these in our in the second module we discussed principles of material handling in, in detail in uh, i module to discussion you already written for series series 1 exam we all know that for a for a review only we will uh, list out the terms 
planning principle uh, what is the planning principle all activities should be planned system principle we need a system approach we need to consider uh, everything in a together there are many departments in the system in a in a company may be there but we need to consider all departments are the single system in a as together what is space utilization uh, principle we have to reduce the we, we will have to reduce the total space we are used maximum optimization of cubic space unit load principle what is unit load you are remembering what is unit load right? unit load will be a the load it's a configuration of load which will co convert to a single space as we discussed like a number of uh, a brick a a a load of uh, a load of bricks actually we are not counting a single brick a, a truck with a load of bricks uh like that uh like that uh, a single pallet a single cupboard uh, like that we, we can optimize the unit load okay? so by uh, arranging the items in a unit load we can increase the quantity gravity principle what is the gravity principle uh, try to use the uh, hell gravity for moving the material material flow principle what material flow principle says that uh, movement uh, material flow should be uniform as well as straight simplification principle we need to try to avoid the unnecessary movement we need to combine the motions into a single one simplification try to simplify the process safety principle probably to safe handling mechanization principle uh, wherever the possibility is there try to automate the process standardization try to standardize all procedure all principles or method we are doing then it's easy to repeat flexibility principle we need to increase the flexibility for a better expansion for ex for further expansion equipment selection principle consider all aspects of material move method while we are uh, selecting a material dead weight principle reduce the ratio of dead weight to plain load so we can easily handle the material uh like that idle time principle reduce the idle time maintenance principle plan prevent the maintenance uh not breakdown minus plan preventive maintenance or scheduled repair capacity principle use handling equipment to help achieve its full capacity like that we have uh, different principles for material handling you already studied it in detail try to set least 10 uh, principle from this then you can easily write in your exam if a question came what are the principles of material handling very important for you in exam point of view we already discussed this portion that's why we are uh, skipping in a very speedy manner so what are the considerations in material handling by seeing the slide itself you can you already see it in uh, ie module 2 uh, while we are designing a material handling system what are things to be considered we already said that the first one is material characteristics material can be physical uh, state solid liquid or gas uh, for a solid material uh, this uh, the material handling system we use that cannot be applicable for a gas material like size uh, for a, a large size material the, the system we need to use is not similar to a small size material like weight like shape like condition uh, according to material characteristics the type of system we are using is entirely changed as we know second flow rate as we know that the there are two things we have to be the quantity amount of material we need to move and distance to be moved in this graph we as we shows that we have four options we need to uh, a shorter distance a long distance or a for a uh, shorter quantity or a high quantity if if quantity is low and also the distance is low usually we will use the hand truck so for material a manual moving if quantity is low we need to move a long distance usually we will use a power power trucks so or agvs automated guide vehicles if quantity is high and uh, distance is low uh, usually we are using conveyors and if quantity is high and the uh, distance is also high usually we will use the conveyors or agv train this is some of the example how how the material handling selection of material handling equipment is based on quantity as well as distance plan layout as we know that we already studied different types of plan layout what are the different types of plan layout process layout product layout then fixed position layout combine combine layout group technology group position group technology 
so for each plan layout the characteristic is different so the, the battery handling equipment we are used is different we already discussed that for fixed position usually for fixed position what, what we will use the large product size so we need crane thrust for or is in the truck for movement as we know that for, for building a ship we need crane so it's different type of equipment which is used to carry bulk loads for process load in process load we usually we, we know that uh, here the variation in product with processing low and medium product rates uh, usually a single agv can be used product layout having a limited product variety high production rate usually conveyors usually moving conveyors can be more suitable for product layout according to that um, by considering different plan layout we can have different material handling equipment so uh, the same thing uh, explained in another manner uh, for examination point of view we already discussed that for examination point of view i just uh, written in a another manner i have taken note from another text so what are the po uh, we already discussed that, the properties of material so we'll wait i already discussed that layout and how we already discussed last line how the layout and uh, the material had equipments are uh, uh, connected together while while writing this you also also you try to show the tables i saw charted in the last two slides regarding the material regarding the layout regarding the production flow other parameters are cost 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 consideration uh, every industry the cost is uh, one of the important criteria we need to consider the total amount of cost is going to spend the cost consideration is another factor nature of operations uh, either is operation is a temporary operation or a permanent operation flow is continuous or independent uh, the nature of operations will be a, a good or a important criteria for selection engineering factors selection of equipment is also depend engineering factors like door ceiling dimensions floor place floor conditions success etc by considering all these conditions only we can select the material handling equipment you can use equipment reliability uh, the the reliability of equipment and supplier reputation after sales by 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 choosing a proper supplier by choosing a proper company is also a consideration while choosing a material handling equipment so these are the major considerations while we are selecting a material handling equipment in last part of this video lecture i just want to be add one point how how the plan layout and material handling are connected together actually in our subject is material handling and facilities planning uh, basically uh, consideration of selection of material handling purely depend on plan layout uh, as we shown in uh, uh, figures uh, tables above Uh, we know that for different plan layout different material handling equipment should be there so uh, how the plan layout and material handling equipment is connected together the first point can be we know that material handling equipment do not value add any value as already i said but by by proper material handling equipment uh, by proper systematic layout we can reduce the total cost of production so the material movement should be kept minimum while we are designing a plan layout then if 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 material movement is distance is minimum of course the material handling cost will reduce so while designing a plan layout try to reduce the total distance we are moving that's the first point while designing a plan layout reduce the total distance we are moving one second the production rate time of your worker is fully depend on how long is traveling so while you are designing a plan layout try to have a plan layout with the minimum movement of workers if we take more time for movement is if movement is traveling total production rate with involved with him will be will be reduced try to while we are forming a, a plan layout try to reduce the movement of workers third space is a important consideration in material handling so while we are planning a material handling try to design a layout with proper space planning then we can handle the material properly so fourth while we are uh, planning a layout building material handling system a good layout reduce the back tracking unnecessary movement etc so while we are designing a layout try to have a uh, most of material will be uniform or a straight manner 
so the equipment also can be considered can be uh, minimum while we are using a methyl halide system so four points one the first point we, I, I, I said try to reduce the total uh, reduce the total distance traveled by the material try to second point try to reduce the total distance traveled by the worker third point is plan the space properly fourth point while designing the plan layout uh, if you are designing in a proper way with which avoid backtracking extra so these are the major relation between plan layout as well as material handling so with with this case we can clear that by proper material handling plan plan by the proper plan layout planning we can reduce the total material handling cost this is the first lecture in fourth module this is almost for all portions we have covered in second uh, one more video lecture has to be posted uh, in that we can discuss about different material handling equipments commonly used in industry thank you